How's it going everybody? My name's MDKWLAN, otherwise known as MDK, and today we are actually on Ubuntu. Uh, this isn't VirtualBox, this is the native install for Ubuntu. Granted that it's not Unity or anything, um, if I take a look here. Uh, as you can see there, you know, I'm just running Compiz for my Windows Manager and I'm using GNOME fallback session for my desktop environment, and that's just, you know, personal preference. Uh, really, I don't care for KDE. I don't really have a problem with GNOME 2 or GNOME 2, but I don't really care for KDE at all. Uh, so far, my overall favorite one is OpenBox, but I haven't had enough time to set it up yet, so I'll work on that probably tonight. But... Yeah, this is just how my Linux operating system works. I, mean, I dual boot between Windows 7 and Ubuntu 12.04. Um, I hope uh, you know the 13.04 is going to be pretty cool. But um, yeah, I don't like Unity at all. And the only really see, okay, I go back to when Ubuntu was back in I believe 9. Point whatever. Probably 9.04. I don't. Know. I forget the naming schemes. So uh, that was my first introduction to Linux. So I was used to you know the GNOME 2 style, and then I stopped for a while and came back, and it was still the same. And hey, Unity came out, and I was one of those people that really didn't care for Unity. I mean, granted, if you're looking at my desktop, it's basically Unity inverted if you want to think about it. So Unity normally is over here. For me, I have Unity as in a doc. This is Cairo doc with OpenGL plugins. And that's really the only reason why I like it. It's because, ooh, it's fancy. But I'm really, you could probably do that with Unity as well. And, you know, I like the the flashy effects with Compiz. But, yeah, really, I don't know. Desktop environments really don't matter too much to me. Uh, I go with what I like. I like the seamless ones. Uh, mainly, I really, I really like LXDE, but on this computer, there's no reason to run LXDE. I'll, I'll stick with my GNOME fallback session. So, in my personal opinion, to, ans to actually answer the question, is uh, my favorite one probably number one would be GNOME fallback session. Number two would be LXDE, and number three. Uh, I really like Mate from Linux Mint. Mate's pretty good. Uh, I don't care for uh, Linux Mint 14 because it's based off 12.10, and 12.10's kernel is just messed up, and it's really buggy, like, unbelievably buggy. Like, I honestly don't think I would be able to record with Audacity and, you know, Chasm, which is what I'm using to capture the screen, on 1210 without you know having 15 million bugs so I will stick with 12.04 until they come out with another LTS which I don't even know if they are honestly um, you know 12.04 is because it's LTS is slated to you know be in existence for five years so you could stay with 12.04 for a very long time but I don't know um, obviously I made an install guide about Arch Linux and, you know, I'm not running Arch, which, you know, hypocrite. Nah, uh, I like how Arch works and I really like, you know, the whole idea of Arch Linux, but for a main operating system, for me, no, I don't really care for it. Um, I have Arch Bang on my, de on my, not my desktop, on my laptop, and, you know, that is technically Arch, it's just a pre-installed version of Arch. But, I don't know. Yeah, I really like, you know, Ubuntu, which, you know, the Debian fanatics will probably get on me and saying, ah, blah, 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 Debian rules greater than Ubuntu, and, you know, blah, whatever. You know, the in the inherent goal, you know, Debian followers should be happy that Ubuntu is using their base for their operating system. That's how I see it. I don't know. Um, I've never been a giant fan of Fedora. Even though, you know, I respect, respect its existence because it is, you know, it's Red Hat, just made for the community. And uh, I'm currently I'm attending college to be a um, system administrator, which, you know, really isn't 
the, all that thrilling, but uh, so far we've you know messed around with Open Souza, and I believe we're going to start messing around with Red Hat Enterprise. So it'll be pretty cool. I'm hopefully going to get my Red Hat certification and you know work on the other Red Hat certified stuff like Red Hat Engineer, Red Hat da Database analy Analysis, or something like that. There's about 40 of them, I believe. There's a lot of them. But, yeah, really, on my overview of... Uh, I got asked about programs as well. So, I really like the Cairo Doc, which is what this is um, down here. You can... Uh, I believe you can find that on the what new uh, software center. Uh, uh, this program here is Kapoofter or Koofter or whatever the hell. So, like... Like, you can type anything in here and it finds it for you. And there's another one that's like this, and it really do, didn't do that well. Uh, GNOME 2, obviously. Uh, desktop background, I, I really like that one. I found that online. Uh, apart from that, application-wise, I really don't... I, I spend the majority of my time just browsing the internet. Browsing the internet. I have Mumble, obviously. I love Mumble. And, you know, kicking around in IRC every now and then. Uh, this comes stock with Ubuntu, new and then of course I'm gonna edit this with Caden Live. Uh, Caden Live is like one of the only video editors that I know of uh, for Linux. So if if anybody in that watches this knows a really good video editor for you know a non-linear editor for Linux, let me know. That's not Caden Live. Uh, I don't know. I've messed around with it for a little bit and it seemed to work out pretty well. So I don't know. So, apart from that, there's really nothing, you know, I have AMD Catalyst because I have to have proprietary shit installed, but apart from that, Wine, because Binding of Isaac, the Debian-based one, kind of sucks. Uh, Minecraft, Cave Story Plus, that's uh, about it. These are mainly proof-of-concept games if I'm going to actually do my, you know, gaming, with air quotes around that, you guys can't see me, air quotes. I'm going to go over to my Windows side of my computer. But... That's pretty much just, this is video's purpose is just to see if I can actually edit a video in purely in Linux. It's not really informative or anything, it's just, hey, it's kind of cool to get my point of view on topics, I guess. But, TLDR, I like Linux, this is me using Linux, these are the programs I have in Linux, and this is me editing in Linux, and penguins, and all that crap. So... I don't know. I guess we'll end the video now. <laughs> have a good one, guys. If you have any suggestions for topics that you would like me to cover, let me know in the comments. Um, installing Flash, Java, all that wonderful stuff. Let me guys In before Gen 2, because I'm not going to show you how to install Gen 2. It's going to take like two hours for me to do it without me bashing my head off the desk. So, yeah. Have a good one, guys. See you guys later.